even if it's just for a week, a couple of days, the bank can't open up an account for you if you don't have an address. And the only way you can prove it, being a, a foreign worker, is, is to provide that information. So this is gonna be a quick video. This is gonna be more of like um, three takeaways that I've gotten since arriving here in New Zealand. So when we arrived here, we didn't realize that you need to prove your address when opening up a bank account. Basically, your bank account is how you're gonna be able to do anything. If you're on a working holiday visa, it's how you're gonna get your IRD number, and it's also gonna be how you get a job. When you arrive, you're probably gonna be staying at either a hostel or an Airbnb. So before arriving, if you wanna get things set up right away, make sure that you advise the hostel or the person who owns the Airbnb that you will be needing two things. One, a utility bill showing the address of the place, and two, a signed letter of them agreeing and consenting that you are in fact staying at, your, at that particular place. Okay, so as I'm editing this, I'm realizing that a lot of stuff has happened since then. This was filmed about a month and two weeks ago, and a lot's happened since then. I filmed this vlog, we were in Wellington, and the guy that was running the Airbnb was a total flake. He never responded to our email, he ne never gave us our letters. So in the end, we never were able to set up our bank accounts. Staying at a hostel, they get a lot of backpackers, and they get a lot of people such as Ling and myself, people that are on working holiday visas. So they have printed templates that they just, you just fill in your name and then they sign it and then you bring it to the bank, they open up your account. Done, okay, back to the vlog to a month ago when I didn't have my shit in order. Number two is your IRD number. Your IRD number is the Canadian equivalent of a SIN number. It's how you're gonna be able to process your taxes. It's how the government has all of your information. And an IRD number, in order to get one, you need the first step, which is a bank account. Once that account is open, then you can get started on your IRD. Sorry to interject, Mark. Okay, back to the future. When you are meeting with your bank advisor to open up that bank account, it's also very important that you mention that you're going to be applying for an IRD number because the bank will provide a signed document, which you're going to have to scan and send to the New Zealand government in order to prove that you do in fact have a bank account. Okay, back to the vlog. The quickest way to do this is to do your IRD application online. If you do it online, apparently, I haven't tried it yet because I'm still waiting for this letter from the, the flake that owns the Airbnb. Okay, back to the future. I realized it wasn't very smart to shoot this video because really I had nothing in order. It would have made more sense for me to do the video right now because I have a lot more experience. I did go through the process of applying for the IRD. The process took less than two days. You go on their website, you provide your working holiday visa number, you provide your passport information, and you have to provide them a scanned copy of the bank letter that shows that you have a bank account. Once you submit all these things, within two days, you're gonna get an email with your IRD number. And it's done. All right, so my third and final takeaway is alcohol. It's been kind of a crapshoot for us. The first time we came here, we went to a bar, ordered a beer, no problem, didn't get carded. Then we went clubbing on Friday, nobody checked for ID. The first time we buy a bottle of wine, nobody checked our ID. The second time, I showed them my Quebec driver's license. They call over the manager, they say they can't give us the wine, even though I'm 33 years old buying a bottle of wine, I got denied. Passport. If you want to get alcohol 100% and you're like of legal age, you got to bring your passport. It's a bit of a risk walking around with your passport, but you kind of have to do it just to guarantee because it is a crapshoot. There's actually this thing called the party law where if you are buying a bottle of alcohol and anyone in your party looks under the age of 18, they can card that particular person. If that person doesn't have their ID, then nobody gets the alcohol. Just to clarify, this passport law only applies to people that don't have a New Zealand driver's license or have what's called their 18 plus card. It's basically, if you don't have your driver's license, this replaces that and allows you to buy alcohol.
So I hope that these three little tips here help you guys out if ever you guys plan on coming here on a working holiday visa. On that note, I have been talking to the camera looking like a weirdo. There have been tourists walking around me and I really look crazy right now. So I'm going to finish my run. And like I said, I've got a week, one more week here in Wellington. I'm not working and I've got a lot of free time.